Well, Sean, I just want to move you on. We're going mm-hmm. to go to the All Ireland because uh, the odds there: Dublin are seven to two, Kerry seven to two with them, Cork five to one, Donegal uh, five to one as well, Mayo nine, and Tyrone nine to one. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody mm-hmm. else is way up in the twenty fives and thirty. You know, it's really mm-hmm. between, according to the bookies anyway, between those top six. Mm-hmm. Who do you fancy in that top six? Well, uh, the bookies, the bookies are following the money, of course, and, and, and <laughs> yeah. the, the bookies maybe might not. Uh, might not follow the game as tightly, but they follow the money. And if that's where the money's going, then it's an indication that the public, what the, what the public think. But I don't see Donegal as five to one. Mm-hmm. There's no way. I think it's five to one. You said there were. Yes. There's uh-huh. absolutely no way Donegal are five to one. Anybody who goes odds like that and break their arm for it, because mm-hmm. Donegal are the champions. They're. Uh, McGuinness and and uh, his uh, co-manager uh, uh, Rory Gallagher. Rory Gallagher. But, but they, have, they have done great things with Donegal, and they know what they're about. They're going to bring the Donegal team into this championship the way they want to bring them in. But do you think that they can uh, retain the title, which is a massive achievement? Like no team's done it in years and years and years. Oh, I think they can. I think they can. Would they be your tip for the All Ireland? They would. I would say that they they probably start. As joint favourites with Dublin, that's where I'd put them, mm-hmm. and I'd have thrown very close beside them. Kerry, I don't understand the Kerry price at all. Uh-huh. I mean, certainly I don't under, understand it in form, even even the odds. I don't understand Kerry. Because Kerry have had a dismal, they've had a dismal league, and it's not that they were unlucky or anything. They've been playing very badly. Now they they pulled out a great performance against Tyrone because they had to, they had to do it, mm-hmm. and probably Tyrone were a bit complacent. In their own in their own place, and still Tyrone came out of the came out of the ground in the second half and played a magnificent second half, which Mickey Hart and Reflection will feel it was a blessing in disguise that they took that tanking in the first half because what it has shown to him is that Tyrone can come out of a hole, mm-hmm. and the young players will have taken tremendous cur- encouragement from that. The older players always know from the past experience that they they will battle to the end, but young fellows coming into the team, they will say we give this Kerry team. A 12 point advantage five mm-hmm. minutes into the second half mm-hmm. and we should have beaten them they should have beaten them they were, they were beaten by a point and they hit the hit the, the they hit the post twice where goals are on so uh, you know i think that that game in reflection uh, will be a big big plus for tyrone because they will now know going forward that they have they have they can take carry and not going to be one bit further to meet them interesting that you never mentioned cork nor nor mayo or Kildare, anybody else in there? Well, I think they're further down. Uh, Kildare are, are still a difficult, uh, a difficult team to assess. Kieran McGinney has done great, great stuff with them, done great work. But I'm not sure that the confidence in themselves, players must, players must be confident as a team. Mm-hmm. And Kildare often falter when it comes to team confidence. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, they have one of the greatest players in the game over the last 30 years in uh, John Doyle. Mm-hmm. John Doyle is still carrying that forward line on his back. Mm-hmm. John Doyle's nearly 40. Mm-hmm. That really can't be right. It can't be right in the modern game. So what you're saying here, just to, in summation here, mm-hmm. from Sean O'Neill, one of the all-time great players, All-Ireland winner with Down, mm-hmm. you're saying, in your opinion, Dublin and Donegal are right up there as the pace setters with Tyrone will be coming on the stand side. Absolutely. And that's the way you'd put, yeah, that's the way you'd put your bets on it. That's the way I'd put the bets, yeah. Absolutely. I think that Mayo, Mayo again, has, have it to prove. Mm-hmm. Uh, their their uh, Horn is doing great work with them, but they still have it to prove to themselves. They haven't done that yet. Sean, I really appreciate that. Thank you very Adrian, much for joining always, us here. Always on a pleasure. McLean's TV. Always is a pleasure. Thank you very From much. The today. legendary. <laughs> <laughs> Keep all that in. <laughs>